Hi guys, and thanks so much for coming back to my channel today. I want to share with you two recollection planners. I was going to do it all together with three planners, but the first one that I shared, and I'll make sure I will link this video above and below so you can check it out. It's the Holiday Keepsake um, Planner, and this one is from or all recollections is from Michaels and so this is the mini and this is the largest size here so I hope I am in frame so you can see all of this I so I'll make sure I link this one so you can make sure you can check this video out okay so the 12 month family planner I was looking at this one last year and I end up just getting the recipe planner instead and this year, I only picked up the 12-month family planner, mainly because of what was inside of the planner and the um, goal planner. And I had to have a specific reason for them because I just didn't want to have too many planners. And for the ones that I am getting for as the happy planner, I'm kind of going to combine while well, I am going to combine all those together. So this planner is $29.99. They had a great sale, which is 40% off, which had an additional 20% off. So this planner was like, I don't have my receipt. Um, I think it was like $11, guys. So that was a great deal. I wanted this one last year, and I kind of hesitated on it. When I went back, it was gone. And what it is, is just, I, well, what I want to use it for is for my family, keep it on the counter, for the boys school school um, activities and sports now we have like two in sports well we always had two in sports but two in sports even Cottrell's calendar because I didn't even know he was on fall break this time and um, even though it doesn't start to 2019 but I want to just keep track of all of their stuff like their activities their field trips or anything like that and even my husband's work schedule so He's getting ready to go to a brand new schedule in January, and it's going to be crazy. So I need to keep track of that, and then I can keep it in this planner. So let me make sure I am in frame, and you guys can see. So it comes with this clear pocket here. So I can put some items in here. I can put, like, some extra lunch money in here or something like that for JJ. And then... Um, it has that cover there, and then it has the year at a glance. It's for 2019-20. That's so crazy. Ooh, to see those dates. 2020. Ooh, okay. And then this, it has these pages here, which I don't quite understand what this is. So maybe I can watch some videos. Maybe somebody where I can figure out what it's like January, and it has all the dates. To the end of the month so i'm not quite sure what this is for but i'll figure it out then this page here is some important contacts so this is really neat so if your kids are old enough like jj is old enough to stay home for a short time by himself <laughs> and um so if he needs to if he doesn't remember someone's phone number which everybody has in their phone but you never know um or something like that or as well you know Cottrell can come to this and look at this and um, yeah self-explanatory <laughs> so I really like the stickers they have some grid dot here so you can do whatever you want to do here and maybe put some stickers here or some more contact information and then here I like this it has like um, happy birthday some school trip stickers some games and it also has the noted stickers, important, take note. So you have plenty of stickers for your planner. And then I like that it even has the box stickers and the arrows here. So really super cute. And then a lot of these emoji stickers and also the icon stickers. So I don't know if you guys can see that up close. So they have like dental appointment, your... A daughter's appointment, shopping cart, laundry, um, if you're going on a trip. So I like a lot of these. I don't know what this would mean. I guess maybe if you had to cancel something or, and then this one here, like weights or something. So I like this. Really cute. It also comes with a pocket. And it's a front and backwards 
pocket, so just not the one-sided pocket. And then your first tab here, it says add a little confetti to each day for January. And then here's your monthly layout. I like that it has so much space to write. And then it has so much space in the margins. You can decorate if you would like up there. And then here it has like the weekly. So I also like that it's shaded and then that it's color coded. And so here they have, um, you can put the name of the person. So this one could be mine because it's pink. And then this one could be orange. It could be Jason's. Um, this one could be JJ's because he loves green. I know Trey loves blue. Sai is yellow or Jason's dark blue or something like that. So that is six slots there. And then if you need it to add another one, you can. So I really like that it has lines over here. And then um, how it's shaded gray. It's shaded white. And so it can be easily to d distinct which area from each person. So it's like that every day of the month and then it has lines there and then February there's March divider April's divider and then two guys like the happy planner has like pockets that you can put on here so there are adhesive pockets so this will be really neat to intertwine the two planners and place maybe like a pocket in here for like let's say for example the fairs coming up even though this is next year's planner but the fairs coming up and I know if you pay for the fair in our area up to the very first day and you can get really deep discounts on the fair so you can put those tickets that you get for the fair in that pocket and um, then you'll have them or like if you're going to the circus or something like that. And then here is June. Whoop, I skipped a May. Family is love. June. Oh, I see it has grid there. Is all of them grid? No, some of them are lined. Some months and some of them are grid, I guess. Laugh daily. Love forever. August. So I missed out on this last year, and I wanted to get it this year because, you know, Cottrell's in college, Sia's not in school yet, but through this planner, he will be in kindergarten. JJ will be going to high school. So part of this planner, JJ will be in middle school, which is year-round school, and then he'll go to high school, which is traditional school. So, and then Jason will have a crazy schedule where he will work days some days nights some nights some days he'll be off like two days and some days be off six days just something crazy and keep life simple so i just need to keep it all together um <laughs> having my kids so spread apart you know it wasn't on purpose well at first it was but then it wasn't on purpose life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful and then I can say, Jason, you know, the planner's down such and such. I do want to, I have an eye on a board that I want to use for maybe command center that's at Michael's. But um, it's like $79, so I may get it, but it's going to, I'm going to get it when it's like 70% off or 60% off. Do what makes you happy. And I'm just talking. And then the last pages are notes. So grid paper, so you can put whatever, you can add a pocket, you can put some goals up here you want to do as far as your family, if you have family meetings. We were doing that. We need to go back to doing that. And you can put a picture of your family there if you would like. So that is really nice family planner. So I like that. Hey, I missed out on it last time, but now I got one. Okay, guys. So... I also picked up the gold planner. So I did get a gold planner last year. It's undated though. And it's a mini. And I was doing a lot of, I was still working with the bus. So I was like a lot of um, on the go. So that was perfect for me. Then 
and still now but when I saw the big one I didn't want to get the classic or the mini I wanted to get the big one because I'll show you guys so I think this is really pretty the colors and it says expect miracles and it has a pocket page here to put some things in and it says I've got goals and it has line whatever you, you want to put here you can put your name or whatever and then I wanted this because of my blog and because of my channel and I don't know if I will always have a channel I've really grown to love my channel and so forth but I really um really really I love or really want to get into blogging so I have these goals and plus I've been doing YouTube for a while now so I have these goals that I want to set for myself for my blogging and for my channel and I want to write them out and I want to really stay motivated and um, I want to pursue this as which I never said this out loud until now well on my channel um, as a full-time job now it's better for my kids It's better for my family and um, it's always been part time or it was just always as something that I just enjoy doing on the side. So I want to write down these goals that I have. And again, this is undated. So motivation goals for this year. It has one through ten here. And then staying motivated reasons to be. Um, it's one through ten and it has all of these different ones. So you can divide this. I, no, 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 no. I gotta read it. <laughs> reasons I want to be, reasons I want to do, reasons I want to change, reasons I want to go, and reasons I want to try. I love that. I love that. And to write that down and to pull this out and look at it is what's motivation to keep going. Because now I've done my channel for so long that um, it's become a habit to upload um, I know at one time I was doing it really slowly because I just had so much going on and someone said to me, I think it was my cousin, she said, well at least you're still doing it and still going and I'm just like, after a while you've been doing it for so long, I've been doing this for four years for so long that it becomes a habit so you really don't think about it like that. You think as your channel, as your family and you get, they get attached to you and you get attached to them so it just becomes like riding a bike or like breathing you just do it so I really didn't ever thought about that until she said it but when you're first starting out it's really tough I know what your blog what blogging for me I enjoy doing it so much I remember getting frustrated and let me hurry up frustrated that I couldn't do it because I had so much going on but it was so easy to say oh I do it tomorrow I do it tomorrow and it I want it to become second nature like my channel in other words okay so short-term goals over here and I don't know if you guys can see that or not you probably can't is it on both pages yeah so I can close it up so short-term goal the month of short-term goal determination and then long-term goals over here um, the deadline the mini reward and finish and it's the same over here so I know um, in one of my blogging mentors, she teaches us to break stuff down in a 12 week, 12 week schedule or 12 week pattern. So I think that's that 12 weeks is that all of the year by quarter, and then that way you know where you are in that point of the year with your goals. And then here, I like this one. That's why I want the big one because it says make it happen. It's a make it happen vision board. You can write whatever on here. And then they give you like a little hint of some ideas. Creating a vision board. I know what you know what you want. Gather and draw images that define your vision. Arrange and create your collage. Review it often to stay motivated. So I really like that. Then over here it has goals by the month. So this is really great to break it down. You can write whatever by the quarter to make sure you stay on track. Then over here it says do something today to make a better tomorrow. And then I guess there's some kind of um, wheel. It may be a name for it. And um, you can put your goals here that you have. 
planned and then maybe subtitles or the subheadings to complete that goal. So they really thought of a lot of different detailing like what may help it what may help some people a certain way such as like visually writing it down by list breaking it down quarterly they really thought about it so my bucket list I like this because sometimes you can get so carried away in your goals and you forget about what's presently in front of you so I know you can get caught up in like Maybe if you're in school, your school assignments and so forth, and you're like, hey, I need to take this time out, spend this time, this movie night with my family. It can wait for a couple of hours, or that video can wait, or that blog post can wait, and um, I need to spend this time with my family, or the weekend with my family. Okay, so, and that's a great bucket list to do for like trips and stuff to do with them and then if you reach like that goal then you can say well if I reach this goal of a certain number of page views or I make this certain amount of money or something then my family will go to Disney World or blase blase something like that so then guys they also have these stickers which I think are really nice to put on the planner Really nice, it says success, and let me make sure I'm in frame. And then long-term goal, goal achieved, short-term goal deadline. And then a lot of more emojis. And these say, way to go. Um, yeah, most of them says, keep going, well done, way to go. And I guess you can write in whatever you want in these blank ones. And then they have a pocket here, frontwards and backward, frontwards and backwards, front and back. And then the first tab, it says dream big. Then here's a monthly vision board, which is super neat. And then a motivation by routine. So first things, first things first, morning, afternoon, evening, before bed. This is awesome because I know I am the type of person where... I like to do what I feel like doing at the present time. Um, I guess to working for yourself, you kind of want that flexibility, but you also have to be disciplined as well because I know with me, I will get frustrated that I will either put too much thing, too many things on my to-do list, or I will put still put enough. But I would still think that that's not enough. But when I write it down on a list, I'm like, that was a lot of stuff that you did hope. So you need to pat yourself on the back or you need to step it up. So here is like the monthly view. And I like you can put those stickers up there. And then here is the weekly, which is awesome. So you can put your dates here, whatever you have listed. And I like this. I like this more so as I've been using my big planner with happy planner as a hat as a um blogging planner planner and i haven't i don't really decorate it too much unless i have time but this is really nice because i was really looking at it as a goal planner but it looks like you can do goals and what you have for that week like a to do which i guess is the same thing then here's your goal tracker here and then it has like lines and then one two three four five six through sixteen and this will be neat i can say for like blogging i know right now we have a challenge of 25 blog posts this month are you kidding me but i'm gonna try to do it and it's gonna be tough but i'm gonna try to do it by the end of the end of the month so here's another tab and i believe it just repeats yep it just repeats and their dividers are not too spectacular so you can really dress it up like get you some little planner girl dolls or some little folders you are lovely and put in your planner 
You can make your own pockets. You can get the little clear pockets that Target One Spot has and put some things in here. Maybe you can put like a gift card in a clear pocket and then once you, or a note, and then once you, once you reach that goal, then you can go treat yourself to something. That'd be a good idea. As I tell you, 25 blog, blog posts. But she's going to give us something if we do the challenge. So glad to be here. And then all of these are notes. And I love note pages. So you can just write whatever, blog post ideas, and so forth. So this is a great planner for whatever it may be. It could be like a weight loss. You can have business planner. If you have an Etsy shop, Shopify, whatever, guys. So that's it. I really like these planners. Um, they do have a budget planner. But I said I'll stick to my, I don't know, I think about it, guys. Maybe if they still have it when it's 70% off, but I'm sure it's going to be gone. They did have a Faith one, but I just got a Happy Planner Faith one. So I'm going to stick with that so I can Franken plan. So guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Hope it wasn't super chatty. And um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.